welcome Shem Stars to the computer class. Hope all is good at your end. Children, today we are going to continue with our previous topic with some new features. So let's begin our class. Children, this is in continuation with the lesson 5, more on PowerPoint. So most of the subtopics we have covered, only two topics are left and uh, that we are going to cover today. Number one that we are going to learn today about is ink annotation and number two we are going to learn about viewing a presentation. So let us understand what do we understand about ink annotation. Children ink annotation is a new feature that has been introduced in the latest versions of the windows so you don't have to worry about if you don't have it in your computers if you don't have it in powerpoint latest version so we can have it later once we just open the school or i can show it to you on computers where the ink annotation is and how does it work this is an amazing feature that enables you to annotate with ink to write notes create shapes highlight a key concept and much more you can also convert the hand drawn shapes to uniform geometric shapes by selecting them and then selecting convert to shapes i know children uh, this option uh, once we go for the zoom classes and most of the children try to use this annotation tab in your uh, in the uh, you know uh, you know that option that you have in zoom annotation so you try to scribble you try to highlight you try to write because of uh, you know because you have this option available in zoom so you have to be very very careful you know about how to erase you know how to about, uh, write it though you should not go for this option you should not distract uh, teachers you know while do using this option though it is good that you know about this 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 is option that you have in powerpoint as well same thing that you do in zoom you use your pen, you can use eraser, you can use all the options that you have for writing and then you can uh, you write and then you can erase it as well. So this is all about the ink annotation that you have in uh, you know, PowerPoint and you have in Zoom that you know about already. So children, next is that we have to learn about viewing a presentation. Uh, children, you can view your presentation in different formats such as you have a normal view, slide sorter view, you have slideshow view. Depending on the task at hand, most of the view buttons are available in the presentation view group on the view tab. See, if I just go here, already I have just clicked on view tab and these are the different views that we have right now here so normal view we are talking about children normal view is uh, by default always when you start writing in powerpoint that's called as the normal view where you edit your text where you uh, add uh, graphics sounds effects whatever you do that is all done in normal view now next is if you're talking about the outline view let's click on outline view so if i click on outline view the slide will appear like this the outline view displays only the text on your slides in the outline pan this view allows you to quickly edit text on the slides and view the contents of all the slides at once use outline view to create an outline or story board for your presentation you can uh, get to outline view from the view tab on the ribbon it displays the slide text in the outline pan so you can see there is a uh, option also uh, down click to add notes so you can just write down something if you want to write about the presentation as well 
coming to the next a very important that is slide sort of view children slide sort of view it's a miniature view of all the slides of a presentation in horizontally sequenced thumbnails slide sort of view is helpful if you need to change the order of the slides you want to insert slide you want to delete the slides you want to add transitions and if you want to set the timings for the slide show so you can do it here uh supposing if i want to change the order of the slide i have this uh, order here supposing maybe i want to change uh this slide i want to just take it here so number 2 so i am going to shift it easily i am using to use uh you know my uh, left uh, key and i am going to hold it i am going to move the slide wherever i want whichever the position i want to have a slide for maybe i'm going to move it down so okay it's fine i'm going to get the slide here this way you can uh, change the position of the slides and if you want to delete some slides supposing here nothing is written and i have clicked here i'm going to go to the right click and there is option delete i'm going to simply delete the slide so this way you can add you can delete you can uh, do anything with the slides here in slide sorter view now next is our notes a uh, page view now notes page uh, you can show or uh, hide uh, your notes with the notes button so this is this is how it uh, will appear see this is going to appear like this now uh, at the bottom of the slide window you can get to notes page view from the view tab on the ribbon clicking on the notes button will open a notes box at the bottom of the slide you can print your notes or include the notes you can write here whatever you want uh, maybe some points for the audience you want to write some points for friends you want to write down or just use them as indications for yourself while showing a presentation so this is notes page view and next view is when we click here this is called as the reading view this is the reading view using this view you can view the presentation as a slide show as uh, that fits within a window so you can see here clearly the slide and uh, it fits within a window it contains some buttons at the bottom right corner that allows you to navigate through your presentation and switch to other views like i can show it to you if you just see the reading view and uh, down you will find the options here this is back if you have to go back to uh, you know to the previous slide if you have to go to the next slide you can go from here like we do in slide show view see but it moves like this see i am going to go to the next slide i am going to go to the next slide so this is the you have reading view now children the last view that we go, we are going to learn about is slide show view see i have clicked on slide show tab and under this slide show tab you will find a few options like from beginning from current slide now i'm going to show you how you, we can do this before that let me tell you what for slide show is used children the slide show view is used when you deliver your presentation to the audience and it is just like the pictures in a photo album that i have already shown it to you and it displays all the slides in a presentation one by one on the full screen so if we talk about my uh, supposing from beginning means from beginning from first slide it's going to show you the slide show but supposing i have to start my slide show from second slide so i am going to click on my sli uh, second slide and then i am going to go for slide show from current slide once i click for you know on this option from current slide it is going to begin the slide show uh, from the second slide so present online is a one is one more option this feature uh you know broadcast this slide show to remote viewers who can uh, watch it through a browser and then custom slide show is it displays only the slides you select 
so you can use also f5 key to view the slide show that is the shortcut key to get the slide show and children now one more important thing is to understand about is like you have rearranging slides means you can uh, reorder your slide like i show uh, i just uh, you know uh, show you here in uh, slides auto view so you can do it in normal view also you can open presentation normal view then in uh, slides navigation pan you can select the thumbnails of the slides and drag it to the desired position so dragging also is possible in normal view then slides out of view, I have already told you how to do that and in outline view also it is possible. You can open your presentation in outline view and you can select the thumbnail from the outline pan and drag it to the uh, desired location. So a horizontal line appears as you drag the slide. So I hope children this is clear to you. Thank you Shemstars. That's all for today. Hope you understood the topic very well. If you have any doubts, you can drop your queries in the Google Classroom. Take care of yourself and God bless you all.